I have been getting a lot of questions about my tuning. Make sure you stick around for this video and then I'll explain to you why I tune the way I tune. I got it. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Why do I tune the way I tune? First of all, I tune down a whole step. I tune down to a D. So this string is usually my D, my G, C, and F, right? But I know the standard tune is E, A, uh, D, G, E, A, D, G, but this is uh, D, G, uh, C, F. So why do I tune like that? Why do I make my bass so complicated? <laughs> I'm gonna take you to the beginning. Uh, I started playing bass around 93, 1993. Uh, I was around 12 years old at the time. And I only played four string for the longest. I, I always played four string. At that time, I was playing a lot of rock and roll, some jazz, but mostly rock. So I, I, would, I would sit in my room and just play bands like, you know, Metallica, Living Color, King's X, uh, Tool, one of my favorite bands, Tool of all time. Um, I would play that music from those bands and I would learn all the bass lines and I would just learn that stuff and I would literally sit in my room and play it, play it probably eight hours, eight hours a day, just playing, playing this music nonstop. When I started to venture out into other styles of music, like mostly like gospel, things like that, R&B, I started to uh, notice bass players were playing mostly five string in those genres. And at that time, I started to kind of play in church too. I was probably around 15, 16 years old. So I started to play in church with my friends and stuff. And the gospel music that I, that we would have to learn, you know, the bass players all played low notes. So I remember thinking at the time that I want to be able to play those low notes, but I do not want a five string. Everybody around me was playing a five string and I didn't want to play it. I wanted it to be different. I wanted it to be known as, you know, Anthony Crawford, you know, the, the, the kid with the four string. So what I did was, and I didn't know that other bass players did this. I didn't know that this was even a thing. I literally just kind of made this up in my head. I came up with an idea of why don't I just tune my bass down? I didn't tune it down a whole step. I actually tuned it down two whole steps. So at the time, I say for like a few months actually, my bass was tuned down to C. My my uh, my E would be a C, and I would literally play like that. Um, and like for instance, so this is how the bass will sound. This is C. how I played sometimes. But at the same time, I was also in jazz band in high school. And, and in jazz band, we did a lot of reading. The problem that I ran into with tuning down was that I had to transcribe everything that I was playing two whole steps up. First of all, I suck at reading. I'm not a great reader. And especially sight reading. So like if we had to sight read something, oh my God, like you can hang that up. I'm gonna fail, I'm not gonna do it. So I came up with another brilliant idea. Why don't I play my bass down a whole, uh, uh, two whole steps if I'm not reading, but then when I, whenever I had to read, I would tune my bass back up standard. So that was a problem because between just about every song, I would literally have to stop and retune my bass. Like I would literally have to hopefully tune my bass up in time before they hit the next down note for the second song or the third song whatever so and i actually played like that i don't know i don't know how i got away with it but i actually pulled it off i would literally before the song even ends i'm already retuning my bass up <laughs> you know um i don't even know how i did that for so long but 
I felt myself tuning my bass more than me actually playing the bass. So I would literally just be tuning my bass literally throughout the whole show, tuning it, retuning it, detuning it, up tuning it. Like, because I just, it was hard for me to read charts and on top of that, be able to play the high stuff that I wanted to play, things like that. So uh, I played like that for a while. Then I came up with another idea. Now keep in mind at the time, I'm like 15, 16 years old at this time, trying to figure all this stuff out. I came up with another idea. Why don't I, instead of tuning down two whole steps, why don't I get a little bit of the, you know, the two worlds playing high and low? So what I did was I said, okay, I'm just gonna tune down one whole step instead of two whole steps. Um, so I started to experiment with me tuning down one whole step. At first I was like, eh, whatever. But then the more I played down a whole step, the more my ear kind of started to get used to the positionings, the, the tone of my bass, and just just the overall, the overall vibe of my bass. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I like this. Uh, like I said, this was probably around 1998 when I literally made the conscious decision to only tune down a whole step, not tune down two whole steps, or tune standard, I literally made a conscious decision to, and I said to myself, hey, from now on, I'm only gonna play down one whole step. And I started to learn a lot of songs uh, in that position. And I started to reteach myself how to read the bass clef um, playing down a whole step, but I would literally have to play up a whole step on my fretboard. I got used to doing it and then I just started learning a whole lot of songs. Around year 2001, after all the, you know, experimenting with tuning, retuning, detuning, up tuning, uh, tuning in between songs, you know, experimenting, tuning down two whole steps, trying to retune the bass to play the charts in, in the standard tuning. After, you know, pretty much years of me experimenting with it and trying to figure this out, I just ended up buying a six string bass. Ironically, I still do t tune my six string bass down a whole step as well. 